Remember this man? Well, here's what he said. Now, he has landed here. And this is where all radicals will land if they try to break the integrity of India and spread hatred. Hi and welcome. You're watching TFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Tribhuvan and in this video, I will tell you how justice has been served in the case of Shahjil Imam. Let's begin. Shahjil Imam has just been slapped with sedition charges by a Delhi court for instigating violence against Hindus during the February 2020 riots in Delhi, which was born out of the anti-CAA agitation of Islamists in Shaheen Bagh and other locations in the national capital. A former JNU student and one of the key organizers of the Shaheen Bagh protest, Shahjil Imam was arrested in 2020 from Bihar's Jehanabad. On Monday, a Delhi court framed charges against Shahjil Imam for making inflammatory speeches at Aligarh Muslim University and in Delhi's Jamia area against the Citizenship Amendment Act, also known as CAA. <laughs> Imam has been charged with sedition, promoting enmity between different groups on ground of religions, race, place of birth, imputations prejudicial to national integration and public mischief under the Indian Penal Code and indulging in unlawful activities under Unlawful Activities Prevention Act. The court also rejected Imam's bail in this case, which was argued by his lawyer Tanvir Ahmed Mir. The prosecution during arguments told the court that his speeches gave a clear indication that Muslims have no hope in India and his call to burn detention camps was not peaceful. The charge sheet filed by Delhi police against Imam said he through his speeches repeatedly incited the public to commit acts which would jeopardize public tranquility, attempts to cause disaffection towards the lawfully elected government of the country in the garb of democratically opposing the CAA. His oration and acts are seditious in nature. It added, he is accused of delivering seditious speeches and inciting a particular section of the community to indulge in unlawful activities detrimental to sovereignty and integrity of the nation. Shahjil Imam said a lot of things. He thought he would lead India's Islamist uprising, but it has all visibly turned out to be a big failure. Imam had given a venomous speech calling on the Muslim community to cut off Assam and Northeast India from the rest of the country. He said, Assam and India are different. Now listen to our story. Assam has the situation of Muslims. The CAA has been removed. People are going to put it in the detention camp. Right? And there is no problem. 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 अब वक्त ये है कि हम गैर मुस्लिमों को बोलें कि अगर हम दर्द हो तो हमारी शर्तों पर आगे खड़े अगर हमारी शर्तों पर नहीं खड़े हो सकते तो वो हम दर्द नहीं है हमारे पास है ऑर्गेनाइज्ड तो हम हिंदुस्तान और नॉर्थ ईस्ट को परमानेंटली कट कर सकते हैं पर हम परमानेंटली नहीं तो कम से कम एक आध महीने के लिए तो कट कर ही सकते हैं मतलब इतना मवाद डाले पटरियों पर रोड पर उनको हटाने में एक महीना लगे he added the chicken's neck belongs to the Muslims. That area is dominated by Muslims. The chicken's neck or Siliguri corridor is a 22 km narrow stretch of land which connects the northeast with the rest of the India and is crucial for country's security. Shahjil Imam's interrogation has revealed that he is highly radicalized and believes that India should be an Islamic state. Imam's radicalization has today landed him in prison, presumably for a very long time. The charges slapped against him are severe and he is not getting out anytime soon. Shahjil Imam's journey should be a reminder to all radicals in India. You cannot call for breaking the country and expect to remain untouched. You will be picked up and tossed behind bars. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to TFI English. Also hit the bell icon to receive all the latest updates. This is Tribhuvan signing off until the next one.